Hey, yo, your friend the neighborhood quarter guy here, and, uh, you know how I don't like talking about politics. In fact, I typically don't talk about politics on my channel unless it affects gaming in any way. Well, the county where I live in has, let's just say, tread into that territory. You remember Pokemon Go's launch back in July? Well, a popular spot in near where I live for Pokemon Go was a lake park near uh, the shore of Lake Michigan. And uh, there was like a, from what I understand, a swarm, uh, like swarms of people at Lake Park. And uh, as a result, there were serious issues that were happening there, like uh, trash, parking issues, lack of bathrooms, trampled landscapes. Complaints from neighbors. And well, it's come to a head now. The Milwaukee County Board of Supervisors adopted an ordinance requiring that Pokemon Go and uh, all augmented reality based games require a permit, obtain a permit, before being operational in parks within the county. shame, really, to be honest. I can understand the reasons behind this, but whenever any level of government does something like this, I can't help but think. Could there have been a better way? I mean... Well, I've got reasons for, th for asking that question, because, one, the company might not be willing to pay the price for a permit, which could effectively shut down the game in those er areas for players... And even though the Board of Supervisors claims that the uh, ordinance isn't targeted toward Pokemon players, I can't help but think otherwise. And two, and this is the thing that really worries me, is that, to my knowledge, this is the first county in the entire country to adopt such an ordinance. This could set a dangerous precedent. I mean... Other, company, other counties across the country could look at this and say, hey, we should do the same thing, and more counties will adopt, could adopt this, and then more companies, and then more companies, and... with... and... Long story short, Nintendo, Niantic, the Pokemon Company, they might eventually not be able to afford a license for every county that demands it, and it could ultimately cause the game to... It could cause the game to really take a hit and, in the worst case scenario, eventually just completely die. <sighs> That's why I wish they could have exhausted all possibilities before coming to this. It worries me. <sighs> it's bad enough that we lost the... It's bad enough... I cannot... <sighs> <sighs> it's hard for me to articulate right now. It's bad enough that we lost the father of Pac-Man this past week, and now the bad news keeps kind of coming, and it, it just hurts. <sighs> well, enough about that. So, uh, I guess I got some updates to share, right? Well, thanks, for you, thanks to those of you who watched my QG talks. That was basically the pilot for something that I might do more in the future. If you've got any ideas for topics that might make for a good discussion, put them in the comments. I'd appreciate that. This coming Saturday, for my latest stream, more Hatsune Miku Future Tone, since I didn't do it last week because Double Dragon 4. And, well, I'll be opening song requests to play for people who donate to my Extra Life campaign. Link to that, link to my Extra Life campaigns in the description. So, and scripting is currently in progress for my next countdown. My countdown for February. My top 10 favorite Alola Pokemon. So, uh, look forward to that. I'm, um, I'll try to get that out this month, hopefully. Eh, I'll, I'll get it out. Most likely. Speaking of streaming, my question of the week. Any games in particular you'd like to see me stream? 
As always, leave your answers in the comments. Favorite comments will be featured in the next episode. Here are last week's winners. And with that, time for the fourth wall mailbag. As always, send me your questions via YouTube comments. Send me your... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, go to my channel, click the About tab, click the Send Message button, and I'll answer my favorite questions on the next episode. First question this week comes from Lord Gamermon, who asks, What are your thoughts on the King of Fighters 14? Good game. It, it, it good. I mean, there's a wide assortment of characters. I still question the existence of Silly Paula Paula. Antonov's a really awesome character. One of my favorite boss characters ever, to be honest. Granted, it doesn't look as pretty as other games with 3D models, but I guess you could contribute that partly to the fact that uh, SNK was kind of operating on a uh, relatively low budget, considering they were getting out of the pachinko and they wanted to get back into the gaming thing, and uh, I don't think it probably would have happened if Sony hadn't really supported them on this, which uh, I've got a feeling why it's still a PS4 exclusive. I wouldn't say it's the best King of Fighters game. That probably goes to the King of Fighters 13 or 98, but still, you're good. Next question comes from Douglas Stewart, who asks, How disappointed are you that Lissa didn't make in the top 20 in the Fire Emblem Heroes ballot? Well, it's a shame, but... Uh, I guess with so many characters in Fire Emblem and so many different opinions, you can't get your wish every time. Speaking of which, I can't believe they made Lissa even cuter in this one. <laughs> Lissa's still one of my favorite characters, characters in, the, in, in Awakening. Next question comes from to Finland, who asks... Do you wish to see some DC superhero other than Batman and Superman to get his or her own video game? Well, the thing with superhero games and licensed games in general is that you want to be faithful to the hero and still make a good game. Case in point, in a, in a case that did it wrong, the Green Lantern games. Well, those were received rather poorly, so... While I would like to see other superheroes get a shot, I'd like to see the games at least be, you know, good. Next question comes from Adam Roop, who asks, If you ever got into game design, what games would you make? Well, having actually worked in the video game industry myself, I've alluded to that before. If I were to go into gaming game design on my own, I'd probably consider most likely doing platforms, probably 2D platformers, because that's the genre I grew up with the most, to be honest. Games like Mario, Mega Man, Sonic, Castlevania, that's kind of what I'd do. Last question this week comes from Omar Miguel Dizon, who asks, Would it make you happier if Paris Elsia never appears in Arcana Heart 4? Yeah, it would. But you know they're gonna do it.